Now what we're going to do today is to boost this water pressure from 35 pounds pressure up to about 50. Mm -hmm. And this is a pressure booster system. It has a pump on the top. Water will come in right here and the pump will come on and it, when it does it's going to push that water down into a tank that's half filled with water, half filled with air with a diaphragm between it. It'll now leave a reservoir of 50 pound pressure water ready to go. So when you open the faucet, it comes right on. Fantastic. Gary, with the pliers, just crack that water meter nut. Okay. Then, there's gonna be a little pressure there on the, it might square it at you a little bit. So now we've got to run the copper line from the main to this inlet to the pump. Now the center of that is about 36 and 3 eighths above the floor. So I've transferred that mark onto the pipe, but that's not where we've cut is we're going to cut in this 90 degree elbow fitting. So that's the center and just allow for the fitting okay. right there is where you cut. Looks good. You're right in the same track. Yep. Tighten up. And just stop for one second. Just pull that out. Okay. I'm just going to clean this pipe. It's always easy to do it before the pipe is cut. I need to cut another piece out right here. So this will be where the elbow from the pump cuts in. Okay, so that's where you tie back yep. into the water right yep. in the house. All right, Gary, this all dry fit. Let's just review what we've done so far. Here's the line that comes in from the street with our 35 PSI water pressure. What I thought we'd do is actually put a pressure gauge right here to see what's coming in from the street. Now the water's gonna run through this valve right here. It's called a check valve, designed to only let the water go this way and not this way. And that's important. When that pressure system's on, you don't want that higher pressure being able to go back down the main into the street. Okay, so then the high pressure water is gonna come out of the pump here, up this line into the house. That's right. And what I thought we'd do is have one more gauge right here to see what you're getting upstairs. Now it's time to take this all apart, to clean it, to flux it, and to solder it all together. Good? <laughs> All right, so that's it for the plumbing connections, but we still need electricity. So I called a local electrician, Brian Bergeron. Hey, that's Brian. Right. This manufacturer on this pump recommends a dedicated circuit, and we're in luck that the panel board is right Perfect. there. Perfect. Yeah, right there, right next to us. We slide the wire in and push the connector flush up against the housing and take a lock nut, which will hold it in place. But you try and thread the connector on without cross-threading it. All right, we have three wires coming into the motor now. We have a black wire, which is bringing the power in, a white wire, which is the neutral, and a green wire, which is the ground. We're gonna start with the green wire, connecting it to the green screw at the bottom. That will be the ground. So to do that, we have to shorten the wire a little bit, and then we're gonna strip back as much as we can without, it's very tight, to get the wire exposed. Now we tighten the screw down, and that will make the ground for the motor to the panel. Now we just connect the neutral and the hot and the motor will be wired. And we just knock out by pushing up and take out the seal and then we run the wire up through the hole that we just created. Measure that off. All right, we cut the cable like we did before. Slide that down. We're going to run the cable right up through the hole we created. We're going to slide the white and green wire on the ground neutral bar in the panel and tighten down the set screws. And you take the black wire and slide it under the breaker. Brian, once you turn that breaker on, it'll take a few seconds to get warmed up and then the pump should come on. And what happens is the, the pump will now be pumping water down against this diaphragm and starting to build up the pressure, build up the pressure. You start seeing it go up here. Yep, here we are. We're 40, 45 PSI on our way to 50. And it should shut off at 60 PSI. Mm -hmm. 